meeting at 9:30 am will be held today and prime minister modi will be chairing this party top brass are going to address the bjp mps ahead of the start of the session importantly on the day of uh, which no confidence motion debate is going to begin as i uh, told you before that nishikant dubey is expected to speak from the nd alliance uh, side and rahul gandhi is expected to speak from the congress side now bjp uh, bjp parliamentary meeting is uh, going to happen at 9:30 am today and prime minister modi will be chairing this this is what we are learning so far we have more details coming uh, coming up on this but right now uh, party top brass to address the bjp mp is ahead of the start of the session importantly on the day of which uh, no confidence motion debate will begin i have seen a news 18's payal mehta joining me on the phone line payal a very good morning to you could you give us more details about what can be expected from the meeting that prime minister modi is going to chair sakshi this meeting takes place every tuesday because the bjp parliamentary party meeting happens during the parliament session so this is a very important day given the fact that the opposition parties have moved the no confidence motion the debate begins today and obviously the congress party will be uh, led by rahul gandhi who is going to be the first speaker as well so what is the line of thought as far as the government is concerned how is the government going to counter this this is, is a very important direction that the bjp mps are hoping to hear from the bjp top brass uh, in most of these uh, parliamentary party meetings we also see the participation and the address of the prime minister as well it will be important to see the prime minister gives them a motto or gives them uh, you know the line of thought on which they can actually attack the opposition but the multiple nda meetings that have taken place the prime minister has told uh, the nda mp to go aggressively against the alliance in particular against the congress party which is the party of the corrupt and essentially that is something which which remains to be seen what is the message to take back home so there is of course a, a three day uh, whip that the bjp is issued to its lok sabha mp so all of these lok sabha mps have been asked to be present in the house and the bjp has massive strength as far as uh, the lok sabha is concerned So obviously, multiple uh, multiple leaders will be speaking, including Indian Union ministers will be countering the ploy of the opposition. So it's a very very crucial meeting right ahead of the start of the session and of course the day's proceedings. With of course the line of attack being led by Amit Shah, who is going to be answering, who is going to be intervening rather in the debate of the no confidence sometime tomorrow evening. Well, Pail, I'll request you to please hold on because I have CNN News 18's Arunima joining me on the broadcast as well. Arunima, very good morning to you. Arunima, since we heard that Nishikant Dubey is expected to speak uh, from the NDA Alliance side this time, who all, uh, who else are we expecting to speak today? So, Rahul Gandhi will uh, lead the no confidence motion from the side of the opposition. Uh, Gaurav Bhopal, who is going to lead the motion, he is the one who is the who is the main mover of the motion. He will follow next. followed by manish tiwari and also uh, the chhattisgarh congress uh, unit head and uh, the mp from bastar deepak bhai so these are the four speakers who are from the side uh, of of the congress party from uh, the trinamool congress also you could see five speakers mohan putra uh, take uh, center stage there will be speakers uh, from uh, the other india alliance partners as well it will be interesting to note uh, you know the stance of uh, bjd and ysrcp uh, they are party to claim uh, that they are not Uh, aligned to either block but have been uh, you know supporting the government on every crucial issue and on no confidence also it is most likely that they will uh, you know support the government stance on this uh, you know home minister amit shah will uh, intervene if there are any questions on manipur uh, but then the final uh, you know comments will come from the prime minister on the last day of the motion well Ar- arunima i will request you to please hold on because i am going back to pile pile governments hold the clear majority even today uh, we have some members who haven't talked about their inclination but despite of their addition to uh, what we are expecting from the opposition side government still holds the clear majority then why doing this no confidence motion at all oh, well as far as the government is concerned the bjp itself has over 300 mps uh, in the lok sabha and also you know parties like the ysr and the bjd have also expressed their stance explicitly they have said that they will be opposing this no confidence motion uh, that is the line which is taken in as many words by ysr congress and bjd as well the tdp which is another cog in the wheel has also said that they will be supporting the government as far as this, uh, opposing this no confidence motion is concerned but like i said that the opposition parties have so far said a very thing something very clearly sakshi that they had no other option but to bring the no confidence motion because that was the only way to get the prime minister to the floor of the house but as far as the nda is concerned as far as the government is concerned they say that it's nothing but a opportunity on a platter because this is going to allow the prime minister to uh, to have a massive onslaught and have a grand standing as one of his opposition mps uh, had said uh, to allow <coughs> him to take on the opposition from the floor of the house to tell the country that the opposition parties have done nothing in particular Except you know trying to corner the government on on issues that they've only been renting, 
they were renting a cause what the government has been saying and right from uh, not just manipur but from every wrong that the congress party that the government has, has been done that response is going to come in from the prime minister is expected to make a fiery political speech when he responds to the debate on the third day and in 2018 itself when the no confidence motion was moved by then the alliance of the of the bjp uh, tdp uh, even then the prime minister predicted that these opposition parties will come up with another, another no confidence motion in 2023 and it seems in a way his prophecy has come true well arunima coming back to you we are expecting that uh, opposition is going all out against the uh, central government over that manipur issue but what uh, other issues are we expecting uh, rahul gandhi to raise today in his statement i think the focus will uh, be largely on manipur uh, but he has been raising other issues of concern to people also bread and butter issues like price rise uh, bread and butter issues uh, like you know the general standard of living uh with tomato prices is something that the opposition has uh, tried to raise inside uh, but you would see largely as far as national security is concerned when when they speak about manipur it will not be limited to the ethnic strife between uh, the two communities there the, the replications that that will it will have with the china with the myanmar where a lot of these insurgent groups are also getting support from the myanmar government all of those issues could could come up within the purview of what is happening in manipur itself uh, and uh, it will be interesting to note uh, you know uh, what, what is the tone and tenor of rahul gandhi's attack mohabbat ki dukaan is something that he has been going around uh, speaking about and if you recall last time when the no confidence motion was brought in what made headlines was him walking up to the prime minister asking him to get up and then giving him a hug and on the way back to his own seat that wink so the hug and the wink dominated headlines then rather than what rahul gandhi said and some called it frivolous he was criticized for it by the prime minister himself so in in that sense also they will watch out for what rahul gandhi says if he makes any reference to the fact that he was disqualified and he has just come back uh, so interesting uh, debate uh, we and we'll shortly look up well arunima as we were talking about uh, the previous uh, uh, no confidence motion uh, in the parliament as well uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi sort of survived one in 2018 with 195 votes in his favour. What count are we expecting this time in his favour? Well, 300 plus. There's no doubt about uh, the fact that the numbers are stacked in favour of uh, the government. Even the opposition is aware of it. In Rajya Sabha, where the numbers were tricky, even there a clear majority was found yesterday when division happened on the Delhi bill. 102 is all that the opposition could manage. Uh, so there's no doubt as far as the numbers are concerned in Lok Sabha. But the opposition has been stressing that we are bringing in. Uh, this this particular no confidence motion is respective of the numbers because there is no other way left for the prime minister to be uh, you know brought before uh, the lok sabha and rajya sabha uh, the the parliamentarians from the opposition spectrum are alleging that uh, you know prime minister does not attend uh, any of the house proceedings and since they want him to answer questions on manipur this was the only way left Well I have CNN News 18's Pallavi Ghosh joining me live on the broadcast as well Pallavi a very good morning to you let's talk about some political barbs that they are exchanging uh, th- there are some political jibe that uh, opposition alliance is actually taking at Prime Minister Modi yesterday they were asking ki why uh, so much delay in uh, reinstatement of Rahul Gandhi uh, is Prime Minister Modi so scared of him and now uh, they are saying that this is a small victory for them that uh, as they are going to force Prime Minister Modi to speak uh, in the parliament what do you have to say about that Gandhi was reinstated yesterday and of course the Congress party would make a big issue about it and we saw that happening yesterday uh, the Congress party would want to derive as much of political mileage about the fact that Rahul Gandhi has been disqualified and then he was reinstated and they see this as a victory of truth over hatred is what they are calling it 